Hi, I'm Romy Gill. Today I'm going to show you how to make an authentic Indian dish. Hi, I'm going to show, show you how to make chilli paneer. I marinated some chilli paneer here. For those who don't know what a paneer looks like, it's very easy to make at home but you can find it any supermarkets, anywhere nowadays. You don't have to go to speciality shops, you can buy anywhere. You just go to the World Cheeses and you'll be able to find it. It doesn't taste of anything, it's just very bland, doesn't have any flavour, nothing like that. But if you marinate it, it just got such an amazing flavour. What I've done is diced it very small. We've got red Kashmiri chilli, cumin seeds, coriander powder and garam masala. And a little bit of soya sauce and a little bit of honey just to so that it kind of um, sticks to the paneer and in the end I've got a very very little bit of corn flour because then if you do that it all sticks really really well so I'm going to keep that aside here I've uh, got a pan which is very very hot and I'm going to add two teaspoons of rapeseed oil this is what we were looking for this is amazing that's what we're going to do and add chopped red onions. I'm going to add the chopped garlic in there at the same time. We haven't grated it. We just need garlic, no ginger. And let it go really, really brown. We've got some sliced onion. It needs loads of onions. We've got red peppers and green peppers all diced nicely and some spring onions and some green chilli. So we're going to add the green chilies at the same time with the seeds I'm going to add a pinch of salt just very little salt gives you really makes the colour go really nice as well and now we're going to add the chopped tomatoes Cover the pan and let it cook on high heat. We're going to add this, all the sliced onion in there. And we're going to add pepper, spring onions, everything. Mix it well. Look at that beautiful colour. I'm going to add some more chilies, some salt, some coriander powder and garam masala and mix it well I'm going to use the tomato ketchup it's going to be a very sweet and sour dish and there it goes slowly mix it well it doesn't take long at all to cook paneer and you don't want the onions to cook you need that crunchy bite with the peppers and the onions I love this dish so so my kids they love it and their friends love it because when they go to school I put them in pita bread half the pita bread put it at make it out of pocket and put in it's amazing. You can do the similar thing with chicken as well and bring it to office and it's very healthy. Especially in India, a lot of people are vegetarians and this is a good source of protein for them. We're going to let it cook on a very medium heat, not low heat, medium heat, keep stirring occasionally and in five minutes the dish will be done. This is how the chilli paneer is made. Doesn't take long at all. Serve it with chapatis or pita bread, wrap, anything really. This is how you make my chilli paneer. 